As organizations adopt new technologies, security teams face an overwhelming increase in complexity as they attempt to defend their ever-expanding attack surface. They are often burdened with manual workflows and chasing down events without context across multiple security tools, leading to inefficient security operations and the potential for a breach. Falcon Fusion will help solve this complexity problem by providing a framework that is extensible with enriched Falcon data together with partner apps and can automate security workflows. By leveraging the power of the extensive security cloud that CrowdStrike has built, it allows for machine-guided remediation options and accelerates response time by intelligently collecting artifacts in real time from the endpoint. Creating a workflow with the interactive interface is easy while still providing robust features such as conditional branching and advanced actions. Let's get started and build out a workflow in the Falcon console. First, we'll select a trigger. Utilizing the security cloud to provide the context behind the action, we'll use the detection identified by the Falcon threat craft to initiate the workflow. Now, a customized condition can be provided to define when actions will be taken. For example, we can define a condition where the action taken by the Falcon agent is equal to prevention and the process is killed. When this occurs, since the activity was prevented, we'll set up an action so that the detection is automatically updated with a detection status set to close. Falcon Fusion can also add parallel conditions to provide multiple actions based on the activity path. In the second condition, we'll configure the severity to be equal to medium. The severity of a detection is evaluated by AI-powered analytics and its value is assigned based on the potential threat. For these detections with a medium severity, we'll just update the detection to automatically assign it to an analyst. This will help streamline the workflows and triage the detection to the appropriate person. In addition to creating parallel paths, we can also use ELSIF's conditions to create conditional branching logic and perform actions based on separate criteria that we can define. Let's create a new condition here where the severity is equal to critical. We can also further refine the statement by adding additional criteria that must be met before the workflow will continue on this path. For example, here we'll add a condition where the technique is equal to data encrypted for impact. This technique is often leveraged by ransomware, so for these activities, we may want to take a special action. If both those conditions are met, in this example, we'll contain the device. Containing the host is a powerful action to take and may have a high impact on the host. We can see a message providing a warning when containment is selected, so take careful consideration when determining if this is the appropriate action. We're just showing the ability to contain the host here as a possibility. Finally, we can add an else statement to capture any activities where the defined conditions aren't met. For this action, let's take a look at Falcon Fusion's ability to leverage third-party applications provided by the CrowdStrike store. Here we can enrich the data type with a virus total lookup of the SHA-256 hash identified by the detection. In our next action, we can leverage the data provided by virus total in the workflow. For this action, we'll send out a notification. Falcon Fusion also integrates with communication options such as PagerDuty, Microsoft Teams, and Slack. A webhook API is also available. We'll just send out an email for this example. We can enter the subject and select the recipients. Contextual data can be added to the message. Not only do we have the information from the detection in the Falcon platform, we can also add in data acquired from VirusTotal and include that in the message as well. Here we can see the data types available from VirusTotal. We'll just add a couple of fields, such as the malicious count and the SHA-256 hash. Under the triggers, we can see data from the Falcon platform and we'll just add the host name of the system. For a final step, we'll perform a real-time response action. We can see that Falcon Fusion has the capability to execute several commands to interact directly with the host. We'll just get the file we can use for further analysis. After our workflow is complete, we can just click on Finish. Next, we can just name it and turn it on. Now that it's saved, it's listed on our workflow list and it'll automatically process any detections identified by the triggers and conditions. One more thing that's very cool is the execution log. This log shows all the workflow executions within the environment. When we view an execution, it provides a visualization of the path taken by a workflow. We can follow the path of the green boxes, which show the conditions that were evaluated and the actions taken. When a condition isn't met, we can see an X and it'll move on to the next branch of the workflow. This can help identify the path that activities within the workflow has taken 
and if any modifications need to be made. Also available here is the information captured by the workflow, such as the virus total data and the action status. Falcon Fusion is a unified SOAR platform that allows you to build and automate complex workflows using contextual insights provided by CrowdStrike Security Cloud and partner apps. This helps reduce response times and provides flexible actions to stop breaches.